Hey. Look at you done came and joined me on the beast bear today. I decided to come and um, be a part of a different scene. I just got off work and I just love this scene. I want to learn how to flip this camera around soon enough. But um, until I learn how uh, just turn the camera around, but right now I'm on the um, I here at Roseberry Park here. Um, I'm telling you, I love over here in Alabama. It is so beautiful. And as I was going across the bridge, I saw how beautiful the sun was setting on the um, on the water. And so, and. Um, and I just didn't want to miss out on this opportunity to share with you some of the things that I, um, you know, enjoy. You know, it's about the beast bill. It's not just about me just sitting around and pulling out my Bible and, you know, um, and share with you those things. I, you know, the beast bill is about life, my life, and how I process things and um and it's about motivation some way or another you know whether it's um encouraging you to just be free to be you or you know if it's just encouraging you just to get outside and enjoy God's beautiful earth people you know um scenery what he's giving us right like right now i'm gonna show it to you so beautiful out here to me and we just missed we just missed the um train it was just um from over there that's what a train usually is and but we have people out here on boats of course and and that is a bridge over here that i just crossed it's so pretty with the um the sun setting in the west from over there on that bridge and of course i'm out here at the park where families are meeting and people are playing you know the children are playing and i'm just over here in my own little corner and um what i wanted to share with you though that was um that i I can't have make this long anyway. I hope to make this very short. And as you know, I'm freestyling. You know, normally I have my paper and my pen with me. You know, it kind of helped me through. But something like this is sometimes you just got to go with it. And this is one of those times for me. So, um, first I want to say, I was thinking in the car, um, as I was listening to um, some music, of course. Uh, I was reflecting on what I was told today by a coworker. And in combination with that, also thinking about what a stranger um, just shared with me uh, two days ago. And in combination with what um, my husband, I think the, was it that same day or was it the day before? I am almost certain it was that same day. And well, as I was saying the other day, God speaks whom, through whomever he wants to and and my ears are open I try to keep uh, an open mind they say that and my ears are I, I try to stay in tune with myself within myself within and because this is where God is and well I discovered the first thing that I discovered before today um, I'm not gonna say discovered, but I, it just it. I heard it different. But the first, 
the other day when my husband was talking to me i asked him we were having a conversation and i was just honest with him to say baby i supposed to be doing these things and and i know it and i am i admitted to him out loud loud that I, I said the only thing that i could come up with is fear and i just or to think like i i had become one of those people who cared about what people think and i i i, I don't even recall when this actually happened because in my mind i encouraged my children and i was i i survived off of not caring what people said and at the same time i took a lot of things that people said to actually motivate me to um to keep going because of so much adversity you know at some points in my life and this part of my life i i was pondering like what am i afraid of you know well, one of them, one thing that I was afraid of was um, when I thought about it a little more, I don't want to lead anyone astray. I fear the Lord. I, I do. And all of that was coming to me as I was speaking to my husband, which was good because you must, you know, it's, it's important that you confess to someone you know um and you know and being honest with yourself and listening to yourself as we talked about before you have to speak these things out loud it was important that it was to my husband in front of my husband as well because we are one you know but at the same time we are two there it do it two and we are two different individuals and um you know we'll have different perspectives speaking on that so i don't, first of all i'm afraid i didn't i don't i don't want to disappoint god so i'm very careful about what i do on my page or period just as a person um because i love people like god loves people and i don't ever want to leave any lead anyone astray and what he thinks of me is way more important what what his requirements of me are very are are very important to me right now in my life and i'm sure the rest of my life so and so we spoke on um i said well well what is it that i i just don't understand what it is i'm supposed to do he said well baby he said from what i've gathered at the um he said i haven't said anything because i thought you knew but he said um he said, but after your mom passed, he said, you just, he said, after you started, you know, you want to know more about your background, your family background. He said, you, um, he said, when you saw that there wasn't hardly anything on your family and, um, he said, you were appalled. He said, those are, the, that's the word that you use. And he said, and it's like, you took that on to, um, become, you know, to, be determined to become um, someone to leave a legacy for your family, not only for your future family or your children and your grandchildren, but also take on the um, the burdens or um, you know the legacy the uh, of the past create you know uh, um, a heritage of your family. And he said all along, I thought that you I, first of all, I I was. I was like, wow, I did do that. I didn't know that that's what I was doing when my mom passing out there, you know, after my research, but I did. And and I, when I thought about it, I was like, wow. I was like, wow, I, I really, I really did that. I really did that. And I'm really doing that. And I mean, it, it was like, I mean, I was doing it, but not knowing what I was doing. And I know that I wanted it so bad, like, you know and I, who i am and and how i think and just how i process things and like you know and the children that god blessed me to bear and it just didn't make sense for me not to find anything just period and so 
I remember, as I was telling my husband, I remember years ago when I was going through, I was going through uh, quite a bit of turmoil in my life, and I was closer to God than I think I ever been in my life, especially during that time. And God told me I was chosen, and I, I, I took that all kinds of ways. I mean, I couldn't even put my finger on it. I mean, as time went on, I see that I was chosen for a lot. Um, it helped me to help help me to to keep some significance of me as a being but i still couldn't grasp as exactly what it is i was chosen for you know like when i got it i just i was like wow you know so at first he told me i was chosen to have six children he and when he told me that i was he chose me to have his children because i never knew understood why god blessed me to bear six children because especially for girls i I was I didn't even do hair I didn't even do I didn't even play with dolls I just didn't even understand and and two and two boys I, and and I bear two boys as well and I that's a that will be another story about me and women me as a woman raising males that's another one and how i you know how i raised females those are uh, that's another story that definitely is going to come out in the v spill but not right now so i was thinking about it and then i was like um i said i was appalled at taking this information and then it was like it's like everything came into perspective for me the biggest light bulb came on and I was what I was just telling you all on the last V spell about living purposes it was like I'm I am living a purpose like now like more than ever the purpose is like bigger than ever like and now I, I know I, I know what I'm doing and why I'm going forth and 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 you know it, everything just seemed like it made sense when my husband and I had this conversation but anyway I'm still trying to sort things out of my mind and and I was just processing that and I am living a purpose and this is something that I must remind not only you but myself and even now like I have to say it out loud like my children me and my children we have conversations on the phone or whenever and they would say mama I'm trying you know and I was told by God a long time ago it's not a such thing as try you know and um it is at this point it's like you do or you don't and i have this uh uh this i call it like a little mural of um uh, what is his name uh yoda yeah on my desk and it says do or do not there is no try and it's either you do or you don't and i live i try my i see even now i do my best to live up to that when we say try we're taking something away from the effort that we put into doing something because we have not reached a thing or a goal us working towards it is doing something when we say try it's like we're like i said we're taking some credit away from it don't do that that's what i tend to do often and as i've stated before here on the v spill i because i have such high expectations for myself because I am a child of God and I want to be perfect and that's not a such thing as perfect. It's not a such thing. Not a such thing. 
I almost just hurt myself mentally, spiritually, just just down myself out because I wanted to be a perfect child of God and that's not a such thing. God only wants me to be me. He want I am not me without my flaws. He knows who I am. There's nothing I can do to uh, disappoint him. So I have to stop disappointing. Uh, even even thinking that way even thinking that way of disappointment and claiming what it is i have done as a person and I, that's me we the person the persons in me the two the two that fights within me all the time they come together and we make it happen and that's what i've done over the years i was in walmart after i had this conversation with my husband gathering this and processing this throughout the day and coming to this guy and um regardless of whatever the conversation was his the the what i got from out of that conversation he stated he said um well what can you tell me about me because i was proceeding to tell him that i do have a youtube channel it's just now you know i mean it's i don't have social media i was just we were just really talking it's like, what can you tell me about me since you are, you know, you have this power of God and all. I was like, I don't read people. I don't read people. I, I only encourage people through my, through my uh, experiences. I can only encourage people and, um, you know, live my life before them. And um, it, it good, bad, and ugly, like I said, I'm not out here trying to hide anything from anybody or pretend to be anybody that I'm not. And he says... He said, one thing you'll find out is that you're already living your purpose. He said, you're, he said, I went to, he said, not too long ago, I went to, to a psychic. He said, I just wanted to see what she was going to say. Was it lining up with what I was doing? Because he said, uh, uh, like you, I don't hear from a, a guy. So I wanted to hear from somebody. I ain't knocking him. I'm like, I feel you on that, you know? And he said, well, she told me that I would do this, I would do that, I would do this, and I would do that. And I, and then um, when I thought about, I was already doing all of those things, he said what I just needed was confirmation. And it's like when I, he said when he introduced himself to someone, he says, you know, he says, my name is Jeremy such and such. And he says that people tell him that he says his name, he introduced himself as though he is, um, like Denzel Washington or you know like he's Kobe Bryant you know like he's somebody famous but when I thought about what he was saying I was thinking like well that's your name he said exactly he said that's my name he said I was created for a purpose he said I said yeah that's what I'm encouraging on my channels that we are to encourage you you know that we are here for a purpose he said he said you are too and um and he said you keep doing what you're doing he said he said you keep motivating you keep doing it and and he said you're already doing it he said so what he said so what exactly are you doing i proceeded to tell him i'm a motivational speaker i'm an author you know um and i'm an advocate for for those who can't speak up for themselves and he said and you were so much more than that. That's what he tells me. Like, oh, well, thank you. You know, he calls me his queen. He thought I was from Nigeria because of uh, he's from Nigeria, and and he was um, just praising me. You know, um, but and I was just great, grateful to. I was just processing what he was saying, and he was encouraging me to to speak what it is I am regardless is if it's done coming to fruition in my eyes because what i see and what my expectations are he said they you know basically they're not gonna be the same because of my my expect i'm still looking way ahead like i'm i'm expecting for it to be this voila thing and it's already it's already happening and i'm already walking in it we all are walking in our destinies as i said before on the these bill before last we're walking we're walking destinies so what he said to me just confirmed what i've been telling you and to tell myself as well we're walking destinies 
So I um, had another conversation today at work and I I was telling him how um, uh, I'll how if I was passed and I come back as something, you know, if I if I don't come back if if I have to come back as a person and I don't come back as a bird or if I don't come back as, you know, an animal or something like that, I would like to come back as an athlete, you know, because I was thinking like they're real they're self disciplined, you know. I'm like I would like to be raised, you know, from uh, um, you know, a uh, background or household or someone where, you know, I could get that self discipline from the early age and you know, so when I I get older, I can train somebody, I can do be a personal trainer, I can help them, you know, be a nutritionist, you know, I can actually help some people in those kind of ways so they can live longer, you know, and we could be healthy people. He's like, he just shook his head. He said, Yeah, you mean to tell me, it's he said, You mean to tell me, um, you. Uh, are putting yourself through school you're paying for your own education you're putting yourself through school and have been putting yourself through school um he said you're uh he said you're in a position that you never encountered before and you're doing it very well at a billion dollar company that uh, the it, the number one in the world you know at amazon <laughs> and he said and you drive back and forth to work at least two hours a day. <laughs> he said, that's at least that I know of. He said, and um, and still you sit here and smile before me and you tell me that you want to be more self-disciplined. And he said, not even the fact that you, you're telling me you are you have raised six children and don't even look like <laughs> what, you know, that, you, that you've done that. And he said, you mean to tell me that you lack self-discipline? He said, you're not giving yourself enough credit. <laughs> and I thought about it on my way home. And I was like, wow, well, why don't I give myself no credit? I was thinking about it like, like what, you, what I'm, like I'm hearing things differently now. You know, like, wow, you know what? You know, so um, he the one that gave me the idea to come out here, you know, just to share a little bit more about myself. And um, he told me to do vlogging. I don't know, Instagram. I don't know about those kind of things. I'm still learning, but I just want to encourage you today. Is to, I just want you to be reminded that you are already walking in your destiny. Stop second guessing yourself if you're like me. A selfie. You're God's child. You're doing it. You're okay, regardless of what it looks like and embrace what it looks like what it feels like embrace all of it the good and the bad like as i said the 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 bad are their only lessons it's not a such thing as bad i'm just start looking at no problems you know their challenges is nothing that god hasn't equipped us with already so i'm just saying i know this has been a bit long longer than what i wanted to be or what i had expected to be but i just really want to encourage you today and i wanted to actually share this oh there's the train right there it's coming through i love the train can you see it oh my god i love the train i love this atmosphere see now the water look at behind me that is so beautiful out here you see the sun shining on me i'm telling you i Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go home now and eat something. Just got work. Uh, I just really wanted to share that with you on the V spill. So, if you have any comments or questions or anything, I don't know, <laughs> please comment. Please leave comments. Please subscribe um, and um, and like or don't like it, whichever one. I don't mind any feedback. Um, I just try to stay out the feedback session, you know, but hey, one day I might just look at them and, you know, um, hit you back <laughs> for just even uh, take your time out to even come in. So I want to encourage you to have a great day and I'll see you next time on the Beastville. Bye.